Hello everybody, it's Alana here and I haven't done a video in a while. I haven't actually been purchasing bags. Y'all, the last time I purchased a, a couple of bags that actually stayed in my collection was five months ago. Since then I purchased one or two but they all went back because I was dissatisfied. Last week I was on the website duty.com and I stumbled upon a collection that Peter Dooney did in, was it 2017 or 18? Whenever he did it, I was just leaving Dooney, so I did not at all hear about it. Um, so, <laughs> so I did a bunch of mad, crazy cycle research over the next two or three days, and I discovered things about this, this collection that he did that made me want to buy quite a bit. And they also have, this is why I'm doing a video today also, um, they, have a, they have a sale going on that ends today, and I'm sorry, I just received these last night, so I couldn't do this video before, so I'm sorry about the short notice on the sale, but the sale is 30% off and it ends today, if I'm not mistaken. I think the 28th, maybe the 29th, maybe it's tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, I think it's tomorrow. So anyway, I'm gonna try to put this video out so you can, um, if you want any of this, and I think you should go for some, and I will show you and tell you why, then you have enough time to get some for 30% off. So anyway, Dooney and Burke, or Peter Dooney, um, turns out his name is Henry Peter Dooney, apparently, and he came up with this collection. This was his passion project, Henry's, Henry's Leather company and they had a whole website for the um for henry's leather they had a storefront and everything but i think that disappeared or they, they shut the store down and um at the beginning of the pandemic like so many other small stores or whatever it was a small batch small batch set i um, mean a small batch collection meaning he didn't he didn't produce a whole lot i think it was like 14 styles it's hard for me to get information because a lot of that website's down now they took all of they they took away the storefront and they also took down the henry's leather company website and they put all of the henry's um products on dooney.com so you can find if you search henry's on dooney.com you'll see all of these pieces or no not all of them because some of these were the last in stock um but I think he did, according to the information that I received, I think he did uh, 14 different styles of handbags in like three or like four or five wallets. I don't know. And those of you who are into Dooney and Burke, if you know anything about the Henry Collection, please let us know in the comments because I still don't know. I did a bunch of research as much as I could and my Dooney friends barely knew. So this was, it seems to have been a very underrated underappreciated collection that Peter put his heart and soul into. He put Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to unwrap everything at once and then I'll come back and I'll tell you why this why I went psycho with this and did a whole one of those crazy Alana hauls where it's just way too much. <laughs> I'll tell you why. One second. Okay, here we are. Y'all, I am so freaking excited about this collection. All right, I will I will tell you why. First, get, get a look at all these gorgeous bags. Get a look at them. Look at this leather, y'all. All right, so Henry Peter Dooney, like I said, he put his foot in this collection. You know how people say that she put her foot in this dish. That means they. it is amazing. It is chef's kiss good, right? So while I was researching this brand, I mean, I was very, I was a little curious about it when I first discovered Henry's. What the heck is that? And then I discovered, oh, Henry, P I mean, Peter Dooney did, uh, he put his heart and soul into this, it looks like. So what he did was he grabbed excellent quality leather, excellent hardware, and some um, Italian craftspeople. And I think some of these were crafted in uh, Norwalk, Connecticut also, which is where he, um, where Dooney and Burke is um, established, was established, where they're headquartered. But um, he, uh, he came up with, like I said, a handful of styles, handful of styled bags and a handful of style um, and colors and all that stuff in small leather goods, right? Which is the wallets and the card cases. And um, yeah, he just threw his, it looks like he threw his heart and soul into it. It really does. So when I noticed the leather and first French calf, French calf skin, I perk up anytime I hear anything about French calf skin. You know who uses French calf skin? Hermes, Moana, Louis Vuitton, all of those people. That is some of the absolute best type of leather that you can get. And I know there are probably different grades and um, not every brand can afford to get the, you know, tip top grades. But uh, I mean, French calfskin is amazing. Calfskin in general is pretty great. 
So um, he got that. Palladium hardware. That's another word that, uh, a couple of words that um, perked my ears up when I was researching. And then um, when, I, when I saw this, <laughs> I'll give you a close-up of all these. I'm trying to explain to you why I got these. When I saw this, look at this. Here's the word that got me. Handcrafted. First of all, handcrafted. Handcrafted, that's pretty much majority, I believe, is handmade. Uh, the majority. Hand-stitched, handmade. I think they cut. I mean, like Hermes and one on people, when they hand-make, they cut the patterns. And um, they're, they're cutting the patterns. They're... they're doing everything by hand and I don't know exactly I can't say because I don't know for a fact if every single piece of these bags and small leather goods are handcrafted but it says handcrafted and then in Italy and um the website or the the write-ups that I have seen the descriptions that I've seen have said that these bags are made in Italy and Norwalk Connecticut however I've only seen made in Italy my bags actually say made in Italy. So there are quite a few different styles. I fell in love with the styles. These are very Alana styles. Dooney and Burke in general um, that uses a whole lot of exterior pockets, trim, contrasting trim, contrasting stitching, um, bells and baubles and uh, all kinds of stuff. And I'm really, I'm, I love to keep it as simple as possible. I love clean lines, both in handbags and in fashion in general. I love simple, elegant, but usable, but functional, you know? And these, these lots of crossbodies, some totes, and they all have this beautiful patent, um, patented uh, tongue and loop closure or whatever. They're just, they look so sleek and so, so very well put together. So I decided to go ahead and order a handful of bags and a couple of small leather goods. And um, I really think after researching, I really think these were handmade in fricking Italy or Connecticut. Either one is great. But guys, I'm going to get into the bags and I'm going to show you this little card in all the bags except this one. This one, I guess, had been a display or something because it wasn't packaged. It wasn't wrapped fully when I received it. It didn't have the dust bag. It didn't have the uh, stuffing in it. And it didn't have the, the uh, little card that came saying who made this doggone bag. Each of these and the blue one over there have a card that has whatever the pre-written note is. And then it has a uh, signed, it's signed, there's a space on it that is signed by the, the person who made the freaking bag and where it was made and who approved it. So there are three written in words and I'll show you. It's so exciting when I saw that. I mean, it's so exciting. When I saw that, I was so impressed and I couldn't believe it because these bags were not especially expensive. They're expensive, but they're not overly expensive. Anyway, so let's get into it. So these two are the same. This is navy. I bought it to match that over there. This is taupe. Bought it to match that one. Look at this leather, guys. From pictures, from pictures, it looks like this French calfskin is very similar, if not identical, to Toyon leather, which is very expensive leather that, again, the higher the higher up brands, the higher end brands use. Um, and then when I received them, I felt them. They really feel identical and look identical to my Torian leather bag. And it's, um, why not? I hope I'm saying that. I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering that name, that, that type of leather. So, um, here's my Moana bag. Same, th this right here, this side of it, and the front, and all, all over, all over the bag. Looks and feels identical to every single one of these pieces. Some are more pebbled like this this one here. Uh, I need to get into it, but guys, this is Torian leather right here for a fact. I don't know if he used this. Oh, that was also full grain, that Moana bag. I don't know if these are full grain, but um, or if they're semi-aniline, aniline finished, whatever. I don't know what they are. However, I knew this leather. I knew it, and now I know it for sure. This leather is insane. Um, so these are little card cases. They're the exact same. Here's, I'll go through them right quick, okay? I was just going to open one, but I'll, I'll show you both. Fully, fully leather lined. Oh, there's a little bit in this little pocket here. Um, one side is leather. This side right here is actually, can you hear it? That's like a nylon, but beautiful. Henry's Leather Co. is embossed right there. Here's another one. This one is a lot rougher 
but Toyon leather can be rough. It definitely can. I know for a fact because I I have some, and I've seen some up close. Um, Hermes and some of the other people that use it. This one's a lot softer, but it's still it's a matte. It's matte like. It's like a matte finish. It's not shiny, and I'm not sure it's going to get shiny. But it's a very thick, very. It's kind of pliable. You can move it. It moves, so it's not super structured. And so I'm pretty sure it will soften up with time. But this one has a lot. It's definitely more of an exaggerated pebbling. Here's the interior. That zipper was really smooth. Here's the interior. Look at this glorious pebbling. Absolutely love it. This is navy. All right. I'll go from the smallest to the actually here. But, yep. You know what? Let me show you this because this has the card. Three of these bags have the card that I was saying. So this is called the mini fold over crossbody, I believe. This is teal. The lighting is a little off. It's overcast outside with a tiny bit of sunshine. Let me move this down one second. Hopefully you can see this a little bit better. But um, this is coming off. Eh. I mean, it's a little, it's a little more, it has a slightly more green hue in person than it does on the camera, but it's not that far off of um, mineral. It's a little lighter than mineral from the Coach 1941 collection. Here it is all around. I love the design. It says Henry's made in Italy back there. Made in freaking Italy. Here's the handcrafted card right here. It's the same as the card that was on the wallet or the card folder. It has a folded detail on the bottom with little feet. The hardware, like I said earlier, is palladium and then the the uh, top is also folded. There's, it's, it has, it, there are two flaps up there, I'll show you. Henry's, they all came, all of the bags at least, came with this little hang tag type thing right here. There's film on it. And here is the uh, closure. Some might consider that fussy. I did not care at all because this, this leather, the uh, hardware, everything, the styles, I just love them all. So I'll show you this first. Three different people made three different bags. This one is what, who is that, Claudio? I don't know, look at this though, that's insane. Made in Italy by Claudio, and it was um, inspected and approved by Ariana. I'm probably butchering their names, might be, I don't know. So, crazy, look at this personal detail, and are you meaning to tell me that one artisan created this bag from start to finish, or mostly? That's insane. That's something that's either really high-end companies like Hermes and whatnot and Delvo or very small family-owned like Go Forth Goods. Those type of companies do this type of stuff. Most mainstream mid-range luxe uh, bag brands don't do this. They can't really afford to. So this is insane. So Italian artisans and one artisan from start to finish, I'm guessing. Here's another reason why I jumped on this collection. This is my favorite strap of all time by any handbag brand. And this is new to me, of course, but I have this Toscana. Oh, this, I, this wasn't a Toscana strap, I don't think. I think I purchased this directly from Coach and it was sold separately at the time. I think it was $25, guys. And I don't think that they don't sell these anymore. It's one of the absolute best straps. My husband uses it with his luggage sometimes. Like he takes off his own little strap and uses this because it's so great. The adjustability is amazing. It's soft, but it's durable webbed fabric. And I know it's the same, look, different hardware, but same same strap pretty much. And this is a little more firm, but it's newer. This is quite old and has been used quite a bit. So I've loved that strap from the from since I was collecting back in the day. And then we've got this one. This strap is the exact same, same type of, um, a little less leather on the, um, on the ends, and it's not detachable, but it's basically the same strap. Same adjustability, same everything. So it, these bags, all of these bags can be worn um, with the strap doubled like this or lengthened. Well, not doubled, but here, let me show you right quick. So you can understand how this loveliness works, just in case you want to go over and purchase these Italian made by one artisan, it looks like, French calf leather with palladium hardware bags. <laughs> And I'm going to show you fully leather bags. There you go. So I, I lengthened it. And it's way easier when I'm when it's on me and I'm doing this. Or when I'm not doing it with major, major, like just with one hand for the most part. Crazy, crazy flexibility with this bag. Absolutely lovely. So 
This has a fold over design. It might be a little fussy, like I said about the closure. It might be a little fussy for some, but I didn't care. I really like it. I have basic plain bags. This has a very plain, simple, elegant design, but I mean, it, it might be a little, it might take a little one or two extra seconds to get into. I don't care. This is leather. I don't know what type of leather it is. This is the only real problem I have with the um, with these particular bags. This one has a different leather that's better in my opinion. This is a little firm. I don't know what kind of leather it is, and I'm not the biggest fan of it. But aside from this and um, some of the glazing being a little thin in some areas, these bags are some of the best that I've seen, guys, just in general. They did a great job. Uh, one of my friends who was uh, pretty knowledgeable in handbags and leather said that it really, this, this looks like hand stitched. This looks like hand stitching. The stitching is excellent and it looks like it's been hand stitched. Anyway, so here's the interior of this bag. There's on the other side of this closure is the, is a, um, the Henry's Leather Co. Made in Italy plate. Palladium is a rare, rare-ish metal, part of the uh, platinum family, and it's actually been more expensive than gold in recent years. Here's a slip pocket back there, but it's a fully leather bag, fully leather, fully leather bag. And that's how we close it. This is a great size. This is about the size of, uh, it's a little bit bigger than um, the Rambler 16. It's probably about the same. Oh, it's almost the same size as my, um, it's the exact same size pretty much as my, the uh, Saint Laurent Toy Lulu. For those of you who are familiar with that, probably a, a little bit bigger than the Chanel Square. I'm trying to think of bags that people would know in order to compare. So yeah, that's what this is. Very great size for me. I absolutely love it. This hang tag is removable. I'll probably take it off because it's a little awkward if, um, unless the uh, straps are up like this. It's a little awkward, hangs a little awkwardly, but it's really cool. Look at this leather. Look at this color. This was the last one. I'm sorry, I grabbed the last teal in this size. This was 175. I'm not gonna give the prices for everything because I don't remember. I do remember this was 175. All right, so. Here is the next one. This is Desert, the color Desert. It's like a beautiful brown caramel color. I love the matte finish, guys. Same bag as the other, but it's actually, it's a little shorter and it's wider. It's a little shorter and wider, and I believe they have about the same depth. Very nice, same fold over design, feet on the bottom, tongue and loop closure, just very great. Very, very great. The interior, same interior, same pocket. The pocket's a little longer because the bag is a little longer. And, um, oh, here's the dust bag. I'm sorry, guys. Here's the dust bag. The dust bag has a leather pouch on it. Very soft, almost muslin-like, but thin, like a very thin, that's one of my children, very thin muslin-like material. And this feels like leather. This feels like Dunwood leather. Had a little interruption, but this is the dust bag. Strings here. Very nice, and I love that it is not blue. I love it's a nice white color. But anyway, here's the interior, just like the other. This bag was created by Lino <laughs> in Italy. Guys, you don't understand. It's so amazing, so amazing. This leather feels absolutely ridiculous. It looks amazing. Can you see this? This has a smaller pebble, smaller pebbling. So all of these have different pebbling. This has, a, uh, you'll see, it has a smoother pebbling like the little small leather good. This has a very exaggerated large pebble. And then the blue one over there has a smaller one just like this. I think it's even smaller. So anyway, this is the beautiful, uh, I almost call it caramel every time. This is desert with full leather interior. There's the plate down there again, beautiful bag. I might like this size better. I might like this size better than the other. That's almost the same color, isn't it? Oh, thanks, Lino and Claudio. And uh, I don't know who made this because this one did not have uh, anything in it. There was no dust bag in it. <laughs> there was no no card, personalized card or anything. This is the small, oh, sorry. This is a small fold over. So mini fold over is the teal. And then desert is a small fold over. And I got the last one of those too. So y'all, this is very, very limited stuff here. This is the mini messenger, mini messenger, almost the same exact setup as the other. Look, this one has Henry's embossed right there, just like this little small leather piece uh, card case right here. And uh, of course I bought it to match this. I probably would have bought, I would have gone crazy guys. I would have bought a teal and a desert 
in this. Uh, actually, I don't know if I would have done that. I can probably return this um, navy. I might. I don't know. I might not. Because I think this would go with the rest of these because I think the strap is pretty much the same color. Yeah, the strap is the same color. So this little small leather good hair will match every single one of these because they all have the same strap. So anyway, here is big fat wall uh, pocket. Don't know what's going to fit there. This is the same setup. However, instead of a little short fold over on top, this has a full flap. A full flap here. I'll show you. Look at this. Same thing. Strap again. This is my favorite interior. I don't know why. Okay, the web, I'll warn you, just to warn you, the website has some of these bags as being, um, it depicts them as having a uh, raw leather interior, which would have been absolutely perfection. That just would have taken away every single issue that I, almost every issue that I would have had with these bags. I mean, believe me, my issues are very tiny and I love the mess out of all of these. But um, this leather here is my favorite of these four bags. This is a very, very soft, material i don't know what the other this is a very soft leather i don't know what the other leather is but this feels amazing and it's in inside the interior the whole bag hey i just noticed this one doesn't have an interior plate on the other side of the uh closure i don't know why but that's interesting also the name henry's was embossed instead of instead of uh, written or painted or whatever on the um on the back of this so this is a very great bag all of these are perfect crossbodies uh, the, the sizes are absolutely perfect the setups are perfect look at this tonal looking bag I love it I mean look at this tonal tonal effect love it love it love it I absolutely love it ah, I'm gonna have to keep these doggone these doggone card holders I was not expecting to keep them and here is the one that I purchased first and is actually still my favorite. So I've admired the H, I'm not gonna say the word, Hermes. I've, I've admired the Hermes Evelyn for years. And uh, I am never in my lifetime gonna spend a, a money on Hermes because I don't like them as a company. But um, I'll, that's, that will be in one of my coming videos. Here is Dooney's version of it. He straight up copied, <laughs> I think he copied it. But a lot of brands, I mean, Coach did Emery just like this, and probably every brand has had this type of uh, crossbody silhouette, and I absolutely love it. This is, look at this leather. If I didn't know any better, I would think this is an Hermes without the closure. Um, I would think this is an Hermes Evelyn, really, because the, the quality is stupid. The quality of this leather is stupid. stupid. I love the rolled edges. I think this one was probably made better than all the rest except the interior, it has the same uh, interior. But on this tongue and loop uh, strap here, or this, this closure strap has three, which I thought was interesting. This has three holes as opposed to just the one that all the others have. So another pocket on the back, and this pocket goes, I'm just now noticing this, this pocket goes across the whole bag. So I love this one so much. I purchased one in a size small in red, and I purchased that this morning after I took a good look at these last night. So I made sure to get all the stuff I wanted before I told you guys about these because, again, they're very limited. <laughs> Sorry, I snatched what I wanted. They've been on the website for years. They've been available for years, guys. Six years probably, probably around six years. They've been sitting around in a storefront or on the Henry's website or the Dooney's website. Here's another handcrafted in Italy. Here's the interior, another dust bag. This one has the face plate, the Henry's plate there. Um, this little orange tag says made in Italy. The interior is that white, that cream, it's like a creamish yellow. And um, this pocket, the slip pocket back here is the same size as a couple of the other bags. This one was made by, tell me how to pronounce this, Enzia. I don't speak Italian, so I have no clue. Made in Italy. I don't care what the heck, I mean, I don't care what their name was. I just love it that they put their name on there. And apparently this was made by the hands of Enzia. So, and this is my favorite. And they, I, I love it. They have another style like this. I, I purchased the last one in this style. This one has the hardware on the sides. The other one on their website, the, the one in red that I just purchased, has leather loops. And the, uh, the strap attaches by leather loops. I didn't like that style as much, but... Um, I think the interior might be better on that one. And um, I do love the fact that it has less glazing. The other one has less glazing, I believe. But I did want the palladium hardware on this. 
And uh, yeah, this is, let me close this so you can get a, get an idea of how this looks. And then look at this big fat pebbling against this really tiny pebbling. Look at this bag here. This is my favorite set, definitely of all of them. This is my favorite bag right here of all of these. It feels ridiculous. Look at this. It feels ridiculously nice. I mean, I'm pretty familiar with leathers now, and this leather feels amazing. This is also a very excellent quality, excellent, excellently made or designed handbag. This might be my second favorite. Oh, I just, I love it. Look at these bags, guys. I thought I'd like this smaller size better than, I mean, this mini size better than the small right here, but I don't think I do. Anyway, so Henry's, Henry's Leather Collection. Passion Project by Dooney and Burke. Love them, love them, love them. If you want to, go ahead and check out Henry's collection on Dooney and Burke and have yourself a fantabulous rest of the weekend. Bye.